Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Giga Hub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that are important to us but may not be important to you. I am Special Edition Host One of Three, Luis. I'm Takaji Tony. And I am Adam. And we are broadcasting from beautiful Cosmic Comics. That's right. The, the jewel of the, of Mojave, the Mojave Desert. Desert. Yeah. Right. So there you go. Uh, so we, what kind of stuff does Cosmic Comics What kind carry? of stuff does Cosmic Comics carry? I know. With a name like Cosmic Comics, how, how vague can you get? All the right? latest of Marvel and I can DC, tell you right? what we don't just have. We don't just have Pops. That's true. We have a lot, lot of more, things. Yeah. We have a lot more than just pops. You just got to walk more. a little right. bit further into the store. <laughs> um, what do we got? What, let's see. Um, well, we got all the latest Marvel, DC, and independent comics. Ooh. But we also have games like this brand new Von Richten's Guide to Ravenloft, fifth, D&D 5th Edition source book. I'm angry because I was going to get that because I wanted to talk about it. We also have it. the previews exclusive Super Saiyan Goku. Choo, choo, choo. For you Dragon Ball fans, like, I love the sound effects. <laughs> That's and what it sounds like. Scotty oh, you have more! Style Look at that. Electra mini statue, isn't she adorable? Oh, by artist Scotty Young. Yes. Very good. What you guys got? Very good. All right, I have this PVC figure from Diamond of Eric Draven. Of oh, Sting. Oh. Uh, what? The crow. What? Hey, yeah. Bring, bring, the, bring the, the, the wrestler Sting. <laughs> I was going to say, you mean yeah. the guy the, there we go. The man called Sting. Yeah, they, they stole the idea for the crow from the wrestler Sting. What? <laughs> That's not true. It's Sting, the other way around. Sting's that wrestler who had to be saved by Robocop once? Yeah. Okay. But what? this is. What? Th- oh! <laughs> you haven't seen that? No. Oh, we'll talk about it later. No. We'll talk about it later. I'll tell this you all about it. It's great. A figure of the crow, Eric mm-hmm. Draven, who was portrayed by Brandon Lee, right. and this year he handed to me. So while you're talking about it, I can this year talk about it. Uh, don't uh, drop, uh, don't uh, drop uh, that. Oh, there we go. This year's the 27th anniversary of that movie, mm. and it's honestly one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> you can celebrate it with that gorgeous statue. Look at it. Yeah. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at that detail. It mm-hmm. is nice. Yeah. Beautiful. These are what's called a gallery figure, and they're actually really nice. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. They and the, the, you might see a big plastic piece behind them. That is not part of it. That's actually part of the packaging. That comes out. We just leave it in to keep the figure safe while it's on display in the store. Yeah. Indeed. We should have told them that. I want someone to have that on a shelf, <laughs> and they're just like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is it's that part pla- of the statue. It's a plastic thing. Is uh, that gasoline? Yeah. I smell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, uh, in what a lovely day. In celebrating uh, our topic today right. of the show Invincible, if you want to know what happens after the show, or or you want to compare the comic to the show? We have the comic right here. Here is Invincible Ultimate Collection. They have the first twelve of Invincible Ultimate Collection. Is it? There you go. There, we go. Is it oh, it? there you go. There you go. This collection is. <laughs> is that what? Okay. Here, I'll, I'll do it. All right. While you guys talk. Yeah, about you just it. be. That'll you work. just be. Uh, there you go. Well, it's like a game show. Tell him what he's won. This beautiful Invincible Ultimate Collection hardcover number one. Uh, of course, by Kirkman and Ryan Otley. Yep. So you can pick that up here. They have the first 12 of those. So yeah. you can know what happens been, after season one of the show. Right. We've been trying to do our best to keep them in stock, which has been very difficult and challenging. Yeah. So mm-hmm. get down here and get All these right. now. Show your comic book superiority to your right. friends. <laughs> when they talk about, ooh, did you see the ending? Oh, that, I guess it's not, you know, what happens I knew later it was on. coming yeah. because... Yeah. I read the Invincible. You should see what happens later on. Oops, I've said too much. That could be you. You could be the jerk that does that (laughs) um, if you get the Ultimate Uh, Collection. Right. Um, Mm -hmm. And look, they're tough, so you can give it an Omni-Man-type beating, and it'll probably be okay. Uh, Okay. I mean, I wouldn't wouldn't recommend it. Just, yeah, right. I'm not gonna. I that's, I have it. I'm not gonna buy right, it. That's but. like technically store property. So if yeah. you do that, I'm don't gonna, damage it. I'm, yeah. I'm, like I know what's gonna happen I'm, after season yeah. one, and I feel superior now. Yeah, if you damage it, I'm gonna have to do an Omni Man on you. Wow. Ooh. 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 Spoiler alert. You guys Ooh. have not seen what I've seen. I've seen Tony handle a shoplifter, and gonna, it is not pretty. Right. Um, Tony was all sorts of messed up. I mean, the shoplifter was all, all sorts, sorts of messed up. <laughs> you should see what I did to him. Uh, come on down. We have all this and more. And more. So, uh, and if we don't have it, which, pfft, what don't we have here? Right. Uh, if we don't have it, we'll be more than happy to order it for you. Right. Um, so come on down. Give us, a, give us a try. What was mm, that? Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. All We're right. Harmonious. So today's topic... Today's topic, of course, is the show Invincible. The entire first season is available right now 
on Amazon Prime. I was going to say for free, but you do have to pay for Amazon Prime. Yes. But once you do pay for Amazon Prime, so you can funny. watch the entire show and get packages a day after you order them sometimes. Yeah, that's right. But um, Invincible. So we're going to talk about season one. Right. Yes. We're going to stick primarily to the show. There um, are spoilers. Yes. So if you haven't seen it yet, I mean, that's kind of on you. Why, right. <laughs> Why are you watching this? Yeah. Right. Get out of here. No, 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 don't leave. Leave it on, but like mute it so you don't know what's happening. <laughs> so we want to talk about the bad first? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I didn't see a lot of bad in it, so go ahead. I, and I'll, I'll, all right, give me a second. Things. I, I have a couple of bad things. You say. do? I was just going to sit in silence for a few seconds. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, there was bad? I can't. Okay. Right, okay um, now, don't compare. You can't compare to the comic because okay, we're talking without, specifically the without, show. Without yeah. comparing it to the source material. Yeah. Sometimes the animation quality drops a bit. Like, people in the background are suddenly 3D models walking around. Uh, I know, like, certain scenes, it looks like it just, it looks like a PNG just moving downwards <laughs> instead of mm. just, you know, uh, the uh, actual fluid the f- animation. The focus of the animation was clearly on the action, mm-hmm. which generally is very well done. But some of the, some of the more, some of the... What do you want to call it? The dramatic scenes. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, the animation is not as honestly. I, I don't think. I, I don't think Which it was. I didn't really enough to, from. to like really notice. Yeah, to it, do. It I mean, if you notice, that's you know that's that's one. But I don't think for like a, like for me, it wasn't enough to notice. I yeah. did notice, however. Yeah, there were changes in like animation from two D to. Oh um, yeah, when fights 3D. happened, it was yes. very high quality. Yeah. <laughs> so there, there were some like, uh, like I think I remember seeing Invincible walking at one point, and I was just like, oh, <laughs> okay. I just went and went. This is what we're doing. I hate, I hate that so much. I hate it. Like I've seen like some animes where they, they do that. They just whatever is just oh, in yeah. like a, like a robot or something is yeah. just in computer animated, yeah. and it just sort of takes away from the artwork. Hey man, you gotta hit a budget. It, yes. No, and that's true. That's true. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I noticed that. I yeah. noticed that it wasn't enough for me to 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 no. have a, a complaint about it. It didn't detract for yeah. me. Yeah, but no, this is good. Please continue. What and, else? And well, this one's not as bad as like some of the animation looking like a still image. Um, um, it's the same issue with Walking Dead. Blood's digital instead of being hand drawn. Like, for example, like you see blood effects. I like, think. Go ahead. Like when uh, that um, when Mark was being clubbed to death and by Battle Beast. By Battle Beast and yeah. most I think most of the blood with that scene was just like added on effects instead of like that blood looked being like it was too deep. I, I could think, be wrong. I think that's just something we're just not gonna ever get away from. I mean, I think that's the way the industry is gonna be. Yeah. Because it's so, even when you're gonna have hand animated stuff, I think for the most part, stuff the the dynamic. Blood splatter. I mean, that's just gonna. It's just so much easier doing mm. CGI, and it's unfortunate. But I think that's yeah. just the way it's gonna be. It's, it's not as bad as in Walking Dead, where yeah. the CGI blood is like really noticeable, and <laughs> they could have gone so much more with the practical effects. But right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's certain shortcuts. I, I, I. The production of animated things are just. They have to be faster now too. And yeah. It's yeah. just you know sometimes CGI is just part of the part of the game. Yeah, I but, mean it's all handled through computer anyway. Even if it's drawn, it's right, all, right. Right. But I mean, right. I think I think even like when when the animation changed a little bit, it wasn't enough, at least for me to complain. Like there were that there, I I did notice there were the scenes where they did switch to to three right. D. Yeah. But like it wasn't so much that it was like no that I didn't stood think out. So. Yeah. I didn't so. think so. Mm. It wasn't too jarring. Yeah. Or jarring at all, really. Yeah. All right. So, anything else? Uh, well, my only other complaint is. <laughs> oh wow. No, okay. No, my only Anthony. Other compl- Oof. It, oh, I can't really stay here because it's we can a- never love anything on this show. <laughs> because it's a comparison to the source material, so I'll just leave it out for now. Mm. Um, okay. I have a thing. I don't know if it's a complaint or not. Huh. No, I don't think it's a complaint. What? I don't find that it's a complaint. I a lot of the 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 scenes like uh-huh. a lot of like the act like the more violent scenes uh-huh. were like really grisly <laughs> like to me like I would watch it I was like oh I don't oh that was cool but like but it like it it did something on the inside to me there was, was like a visceral it was visceral yeah, yeah that was the word I was looking for yeah. um, which is which is fine I I think a lot of animation especially with superheroes and like anime do, that's all action and like fighting doesn't really convey that i i think that was a very 
savvy part of the storytelling process where, you know, on the surface and the way the art, even in the original comic, the art, mm-hmm. and then the art in the show, too, I think that was, it was almost a traditional clean style. So it sucks you into, you know, it's almost sucks you into like early Marvel and DC days, but then the violence is just it's brutal. brutal. It's pretty so, radical, yeah. So compare when you compare that with the the style of the animation, I think it's just that much more shocking because it's almost, especially if you're older and you mm. you read old comics and you saw old cartoons, I think that was part of their storytelling. They're almost like a trick that they did, you know what I mean? I yeah. mean it works. It works really well. Yeah, I mean, it's brutal. Like, yeah. like when, if I, whenever I watch like a Justice League Unlimited and there's like a fight, yeah. it's like, it's cool, but it's not like... Yeah, it's, but they were made for kids. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. but like... Even like a Dragon Ball, let's say, yeah. even then, I, it was just like, oh, you could marvel at it, yeah. but there wasn't, there wasn't like, a, it, I guess the violence isn't as heavy. It doesn't feel as heavy right. as it did in this. Like, mm-hmm. we're, let's let's talk about the same scene where he's um, fighting Machine Head's guys and he gets clubbed by Battle Beast. There was that one just big swing yeah. coming down. It was like, oh, yeah. oh, you know, you you don't have a reaction like that watching violence in a cartoon even if it is a cartoon more a, uh, aimed for adults. Well yeah, but I, I you know again that was still that was part of how the story was structured and how the action was structured. It's mm-hmm. that in that universe even as powerful as even invincible was. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, violence has repercussions, right. violence has consequences. Right. So that that's yeah. what I mean. It's not a bad thing, but yeah. like I think the reaction was so like raw when I watched it, like a lot of these fights that I was like, "Oh, well yeah, I guess it would be this bad <laughs> yeah. if the if superheroes were real. This is the most realistic superhero it's like the old, type uh, show that I've seen." It's like the old wild cards, which I don't think I mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if you guys are familiar with wild cards. The George R R Martin yeah. book? Very yeah, mm-hmm. books, yeah. Very violent and visceral. Mm. Real superheroes doing real horrible things to each other. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you're on Game of Thrones, so just, you know. Imagine. Yeah, no, right, 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 of course. <laughs> um, yeah, so there was that that sort of reaction. Um, but so, I, I wouldn't call it a complaint so much as it's like, it really makes you sort of feel like the gravity of the situation and like right. that these these people are in danger or that they can <laughs> be hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. George R. R. Martin did superheroes once. Yeah, he he only wrote a couple of the stories, but he edited with a bunch of other writers. It was called Wild Cards. Hmm. Um, way back in the eighties, it started, and hmm. it was his take on superheroes, and it was it was a more realistic and gritty world. All right, the guy was ahead of his time, man. Wow. Okay. Okay. Is yeah. anything? Uh, I mean. Uh, I know we were talking about what we what we didn't like, but there right. wasn't there wasn't a lot here not to like. Yeah. So like, yeah, so there was a lot. Get to on like, the good. Yeah, let's, let's get, let's in the get good. on the good. You know, the story starts out, um, and this is where I will make a comparison. Just to, you know, the comic book starts the same way, where it paints a very classic sort of superhero picture, mm-hmm. and it kind of does something different, where it has like a father and a son relationship, where the father's arguably basically superman more or less mm-hmm. and the yeah. son's just developing his own powers and he's this, he's trying to train his son and and uh that's that's kind of it paints this more wholesome picture <laughs> yep yeah <laughs> um the difference and the only comparison we make in the comic book that kind of goes on for 10 11 issues or so <laughs> yeah. and that's where the comic book kind of failed i think they uh they went more even the, though it gets better later i would on. say they went more the the dragon ball z route yeah. Which is, I mean, the Dragon Ball, like Goku's origin story is basically the Superman origin story, but with the intent that he was supposed to grow up and uh, <laughs> take over the planet. Right, and then he hit so, his head. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, and then he hit his head and he became like the hero. This is kind of that, except, you know, he didn't hit his head and it turns out he was a, he was a jerk all along. He was a very bad man. He, and that well, fight, that fight with the, the Guardians of the Globe, that was another fight that was like, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's yeah. when like the gore was introduced in the series. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throughout the first episode, the like, first episode is very it, wholesome. It, yeah, it, it looks paints PG. that it paints that sort of classic comic book mm-hmm. story. Yeah, the f- very PG very PG first thing. issue, and then you get to the the and then the credits start. The cre- and but the, you don't get the skip to next episode yeah. thing, yep. which is important because yeah. I know some people did turn it off and they're like, I don't get what the appeal is. Well, here's the thing: <laughs> as you said, there was an after credit. I thought there was a scene after all the credits. I did oh, no, see this. I did see the scene where he took out the Guardians of the Right. Um, but yeah, even that fight was like, yeah, it was pretty brutal. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were they were going to town on each other. Yeah, yep. and I think not I, a, not in a good way. What I think I liked about season one as a whole, though, is um, 
they sort of balanced to where you you didn't really understand why Omni Man did what he did, mm-hmm. and it, a lot of it didn't make sense. And there was a lot of open room for interpretation, like maybe he was controlled or or something else was going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like there could have been another another reason <laughs> which i this is the only reason i feel bad having read the comic book was that like i i knew why i right, knew yeah, what yeah. was gonna happen i knew i do so yeah, i'm I just do. like i wish i didn't read the comic book <laughs> so that i could be surprised at the like when he turns right um so that was unfortunate for me yeah. but yeah no you're right i think the the fact that there's this interpretation of what's happening it builds that tension like he's clearly hiding it but why I mean, and, you don't really understand and why and then it gets kind of like I love where, when it gets like kind of serial killery tension, right? Like yeah, right. his wife is like <laughs> yeah, sort of poking she's around, mad. yeah, yeah. She's mad. and she's like investigating, and he's always just like showing up, and he's just like, "What are you doing?" You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I was going to go get spaghetti from Italy. Did you? Did you want me to? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. okay, I'll be back in twenty minutes. Like, <laughs> yeah. So there was there was a lot of that. Yeah, yep. there's a lot of that sort of tension. Yeah, a lot of that suspense yeah. is what I wanted to say. And you know it does unfold a lot of uh, a lot of uh, why is his name escaping me Mark a lot of his sort of personal life and his personal trials and tribulations and mm-hmm. something with his girlfriend and which is a little silly <laughs> <laughs> it's like she was kind of not cool about it <laughs> I thought okay I think the... she was she wasn't cool about the lying I think yeah. that was the big thing okay so okay so I'm, well might as well since you. Uh, added something that had a comparison to the source material I'm actually added. Yeah. I don't like how they characterized Amber in there because um basically how they portrayed Amber is someone who doesn't understand the priorities of being a superhero. And That's what yeah. my yeah. complaint was with Amber. It's like even though she didn't like the lying, she was still just kinda like I'm like, yeah, like do, do, do you not weird. get do why you not get why, why he's did doing it? it? Yeah. Like if you knew, fine, but you have to understand why. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, I didn't really. I did like her as a character, and then up until that it's point, I was just Zazie Beats. That's why. Well, <laughs> she's awesome. I mean, Zazie Beats aside, I do love Zazie Beats. Yeah, but yeah. Zazie Beats aside, um, yeah, I was. I I really liked her character up until yeah. that point, and I was just kind of like, come really? Like it doesn't make sense to you why he yeah. wouldn't tell yeah. you? Like she was just yeah, kind of a pain about it. Wasn't like that yeah. in the comics. No. And no. I didn't. I I don't remember Amber from the guy. I read the com. I didn't read. I think I read like five or six issues, and I was just like, "This is boring," because um, it does take the comic does take a long time to get going on like the show. I, well, thankfully. that's because like the show picks up a lot faster. I I think um, comics wise, it, it sort of drops some of the. the um, we'll stop talking about the book in a second, but the book drops like a whole mythology. Yeah. on you in those first few issues like there's no build up and you meet a character it, it, no no it's like there's this and then there's this and then there's this yeah. but they do it but so much happens. right but they do it so yeah, much yeah. that like you you it's like okay i just learned about this person i just learned about this happening yeah, yeah. and i just learned about this and it's just that's a lot of what it is yeah. it's dropping an entire universe on you in like the first few issues now, unlike a, another comic book which would build up to it now slowly. this was created by robert kirkman who mm-hmm. if you don't know he did also write the rocking dead yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Where was it going? I don't know. But uh. <laughs> um. We were praising it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's get away from the comic book though because I think that's where. Although let's do get it. Rec- I do recommend Rec- that you explode. that you get it. Um. Mm-hmm. J- let's talk about the people. Yeah. Doing the voices. Let's talk about. Let's talk yeah, about the, the voice actors. cast. Holy the voice cow. cast. Yeah, what a, great Ooh, voice cast. what a star-studded affair this was. Yep. J- J.K. Simmons as Omni Man. <gasps> J.K. Which... Simmons was in it. Adam, who who did he play? <laughs> I was kidding. I want to um, spider man. Just just uh, yeah, just mm. you know, when you hear his voice, you're yeah. like, wow, that's a weird choice. But then you're like, no, that that's perfect. He's he's absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. he's so perfect as Omni Man. Yeah, and. uh Actually, uh, what's his name from The Walking Dead? Um, Stephen uh, Young. Stephen Young. Yeah. yeah, he's he's Mark. He plays yep, Mark. Sandra O oh plays uh, Mark. Mark. His yeah. mom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he was really Deborah's good. Perfect. He was really good as Mark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only only exception is one scene where he's supposed to be Mark when he's five years old, and he has he still has his voice. <laughs> it's the same voice. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that doesn't really sound right. <laughs> you could have just gotten a child actor, but okay, I could I could I could go with this. Yeah, it was just his voice, but like modulated. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Jillian uh, Jacobs. Jillian Jacobs was Adam Eve, who's uh, everyone I think knows her from Community. Yeah, mostly. Um, Mark, Mark Hamill was. Uh, he was Mark, the, Mark he Hamill was the was tailor. It? Yeah, he yeah, was the, the tailor. tailor. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't no, remember right, his name, right. but yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, just a star studded voice mm-hmm. acting cast. <laughs> Uh, um, Jason Manzoukas Jason was Manzoukas Explode. Was explode. Yeah. Uh, he was great. I, Zachary I, Quinto was, was Robot Man. Yeah. Or Robot. Robot, robot yeah. Man's from Doom Patrol. Yeah, Gosh. you're right. I didn't know. You know, I didn't know how, when I, I remember hearing news that Jason Manzoukas was going to be Rexplode, and I was like, <laughs> how is that going to work? Like, his voice is, right. it, it's not, like, conducive not, yeah, to, like, not a, a, like voice a kind actor. of a douchey. Yeah. No, it's not even that. I just, I don't think his voice was, I didn't think it was going to fit that character. And it fit it perfectly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he was good. Mm-hmm. Rex Blood. <laughs> yeah, and then you got like Gray Delisle. Uh, like you got like regular voice actors yeah. like uh, Michael Richardson who plays the Mahler twins. And yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the, the guy man. who plays uh, what's the old man's name? Now I can't remember. The old man. Which old the man? The one who uh, could teleport. No. Well, yeah, the the government guy. Yeah. Um, oh, Walter Goggins. Well, yeah, the Walter Goggins played him, but that was great. Great. Hey, Another was great fantastic. choice. Yeah. Like holy oh, yeah. crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was good. It's good stuff. Uh, who who else is in it? Um, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people in it. Yeah, it's 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 so good, so good. Yeah, the voice acting is absolutely superb. I know. Uh, uh, I know the Guardians are all played by uh, oh, some yeah. people. I know Lauren Cohen yeah, plays Lauren Cohen, uh, War Woman. Yeah. yeah, the one who got her head twisted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there was, was a lot of lot of a lot of brutal. Walking Dead uh, alumni were. Did yeah. the voices in this? <laughs> like, it was more of a cameo than. Yeah, yeah. where woman didn't last. Zazzy Beats, of course. Z- yeah. Beats. She's a regular. Uh, the guy who played the best friend, some what is his name like Matthew Randall? Yeah. Matthew Randalls or something like that. I've seen him in. I've seen him in yeah. a few things. He was in. Uh, he was in um, Book of Mormon. He oh, was actually okay. in the in the cast of Book of Mormon. Yeah. Like he was in that beginning cast. As in uh, uh, Trey the, the Trey Parker musical Castle. Book of Mormon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to think of other. Uh, voices that J.K. Simmons did, um, aside, like that kind of like perfectly fits the father figure that was that would become Omni Man. Because I know he did other animated. Cave Johnson. Animated <laughs> works. Cave Johnson. You oh. don't know who Cave Johnson is. I don't know. Okay. When li- it's J.K. Simmons. When life gives you lemons, <laughs> you don't make lemonade. You make life take those lemons back. I am. Or what does he say? Like I'm a man of science. I will make lemonades that will burn your lemons that will burn your house down. <laughs> I am Cave Johnson. <laughs> Where's that from? Uh, Portal Two. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh no, yeah, no, no. he was he voiced uh, Aang's son in Legend of Korra, and he was oh, like he? A, okay. he's a father figure to Korra. I'm like, yeah, like after seeing Legend of Korra, like yeah, that he could fit as a father character uh, as Omni Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but I really, I really like the characterization of uh, Mark Grayson because yeah, he's good. Mark, he's basically he he has the powers of Superman without you know the laser eyes and eye right. he, he just has he has flying super strength, but he has the personal life and luck of Peter Parker. So he, <laughs> he, he has a little bit. school issues, girlfriend issues, yeah. you know that kind of stuff. Except with Invincible, there's no reboots or retcons, <laughs> and the comic actually finishes. Yeah, it ends. Yeah. He actually gets a complete if, story if, arc. If you're at all curious. About what I'm, if for some reason you haven't seen it and you're curious about what Invincible's about, um, I mean it's probably best not to say too much. But it is a, it is a more of a darker tale of Superman, I guess, which yeah. has been done. I yeah. mean, you get things like Brightburn, which was just terrible. <laughs> I didn't watch it, it. Brightburn. It could have been better. Brightburn. It feels like there's a good movie in there, mm-hmm. and then somebody that edited it edited it not only out of order. Yes. But just badly. Like because some things just don't make sense. Mm-hmm. The one scene that um, killed it for me in Brightburn's like, oh, it's the ship that's making him evil. It's not the bad parenting. It's right. The, it's the yeah. Ship. They, they, well, let's not get on Brightburn, but yeah. <laughs> um, but it's that kind of story where it's kind of like you know the the Superman is not here necessarily to save us, even the though voice. he t- even though he takes that role for many years. Yeah. Um, it's with another well, purpose. Well, that's another. the thing too. Is it's like this, I was going to s- go ahead. I was just want to finish my thought. Um, but that's the thing. It's it's. These kind of stories, these dark Superman stories have been done before, right. but I think this one's done so well mm-hmm. that it, that's what makes it so good. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, too. It's like you say, you know, he's not being heroic. I think and he believes that he is. I think well, he, he believes in he what he's in doing of, well, yeah. is what is right. I well, think that, he that is makes being great heroic, yeah. villains, he, honestly. Yeah. yeah, He is being heroic, yeah. He's that's a, his belief yeah, system. He's zealous. He's zealous. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So... I mean, yeah, it, it's there's a lot of there's a lot of layers to it. Um, it, it ends pretty brutally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the season one does end very brutally, and mm-hmm. it has a meme that well, it, it created a meme. It did, yeah. I've seen that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. Think, think about, about it. it. Mark, think. <laughs> 
Um, I, that honestly, that whole ending scene was like J.K. Simmons. Mwah. Like yeah. it was, he was great throughout the whole thing. But that that whole scene where he just kicked the crap out of him, yeah. and he's just yelling at him about how he's being stupid, and I'm like, yes, this is fantastic. This is yep. so good. Um, it's it's a it's just a it's probably one of my favorite performances in like the whole thing. Yeah, is is. Yeah, oh, so good. good, so good. Yeah, it was good. Uh, it's hard to talk too much about it without giving <laughs> much yeah. away. Like, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I cannot stop gush, uh, gushing about this this show. It's so good. Yeah, it's real. It's very good. And I mean, I knew, mm-hmm. like you, you knew what was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. Still, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was just still yeah, so well executed and so well laid mm-hmm. out and everything. It was just really, really good. Really, mm-hmm. really, really. Good. I really wish yeah. I hadn't read the comic yeah. so that I could Same just here. be like. Whoa! Mouth open, just jaw open at yeah. everything, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's so good. Um, I I would highly recommend. Yeah, that if you, you haven't watched it, check Amazon it out. Prime. Amazon seems to be on a roll lately. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you know they've had a lot of good things. I I would encourage you if you're interested in superheroes at all. Uh, also check out the Tick. It's still up on Amazon, yeah. even though oh, the, yeah, the show that. was canceled. Nobody really watched it. It was a shame. Um, don't. Think of it as the old tick. It's different, but it was, the, still, the, the cartoon it was still still yeah, yeah. It was still fantastic. Um, and then after that, of course, um, more recently, the boys, mm. which is just great. I st- I just got Amazon Prime, so I do have to sit down and watch the boys. <laughs> the boys is good. I oh I bet I read I the comic. Seen Preacher yeah. yet? Which one? I'm sorry. Preacher. Preacher. Preacher? That was on AMC. Is that um, on? that was AMC? Did that yeah. appear on Amazon? I I've I heard mixed so. things about it. But I heard mixed all things I know about is that Preacher. Well, mainly with most of the superhero shows on Amazon Prime, and I was surprised by this. Seth Rogen is like a producer for most of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. which kind of explains his cameo in The Boys and how he voices. Um, crap, I forgot that guy's name. Oh, uh, he voiced the, the one-eyed, uh, the guy who comes to test Earth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the guy that he Mark meets on the moon after they fight, and then oh, the Seth time, Rogen. Yeah, he uh, meets Alan him on the moon. Yeah. Alan the alien. I mean, yeah. Like, oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> he meets I mean, him like, on the moon, and they're talking. Yeah. He's like, what? Listen, I'm not. There's a Vitrillion here, or whatever. The I is, a Viltrumite. Yeah, Viltrumite, I'm not. Yeah. Um, I'm not the biggest. They don't give up, man. Seth Rogen fan. No, me neither. Um, but as long as I he th- doesn't laugh. I th- I <laughs> thought he. I. He just turns. Did we all have to do it? Yeah. No, no, you have to. Whoa! There's already a Viltrumite here. I would have died. I would have lost it, and I don't mean in a good way. I'd have just been like. Click. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of his, but I thought yeah. he was great as Alan yeah. Alien. Yeah. But here's the thing: I wouldn't expect him to be a producer for these shows after right. Green Hornet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh maybe you know, stinger. maybe he just maybe he learned his lesson. Maybe that was his. That was his. Uh, maybe that was his wake up call. Is like you can't just get Hollywood to do these things. You have to sort of do them yourself, or they're just going to be crap. Yeah. Mm. You know. Anything else? Anything more? Uh, you know, fantastic no, fight no, scenes, great story, uh, yes. great performances, yeah. um, beautiful the, artwork. For the most part, it's really laid out well. The story wise, um, like I said, we good. had some problems with what's her name, the girlfriend Amber. Amber yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not enough to deter from the show. Um, I, I, it just, it was disappointing because I did but, like her as a character. But a lot of the main, point. yeah, a lot of the main characters had interesting, interesting story arcs that were left open ended. Mm-hmm. You know, Adam Eve and basically. Yep. Not running away, but she did leave home. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, just that whole thing with the Rick explode and then robot sort of being making re- a body, reborn yeah. as a smaller version of Rick explode. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, so just so he, he could, could yeah, yeah, so he could hit on uh, Monster Girl. Monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He loves, Which was its he own loves weird her. Thing. He does love her. Yeah. Um, hey, they're both the same age technically. Well, Justin. technically, I guess. Well, she's just gonna keep getting younger <laughs> though. That's part of her curse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. So yeah, I mean it's it's a great show. Highly it recommend it. Let's 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 do it. You want to give it a rating? Should we just say yeah. four stars? Four stars. Uh, yeah. Anthony, four uh, stars. You're giving four stars. Three point nine stars. Three point nine stars. Ads, nah, like there's all okay. Issues. We gotta <laughs> we gotta settle. We gotta set some ground rules with these stars. Yeah. It's either a half star or a full star. No, okay, can't fine. Get four, four and three eight stars. Yeah, because uh, otherwise we might as well just go to a ten point scale. Okay, you know I mean? okay. So well, do, do four you, stars, you can only go halves. I know this probably halves or fulls. This probably isn't the time to do it, but I was just gonna say, should we do fulls and halves? Can you say three and a half stars yes. or something? Okay, four stars though. Okay, four stars. Four out of four stars for you. Fine. Yeah, I'll say you. I say four stars because the story, the pacing, it, like sure, there's the animation problems, but the story pacing. 
the art style of it, it just overcomes yeah, all of that. Yeah, it does overcome all its shortcomings. I'm going to have to give it a solid 2.5. Like, there's more positive. I can't, I can't, wow. I can't. Wow. Four stars, four stars. You are no, jaded. Yeah. You are jaded. <laughs> it was good. It was, it was very, very good. good. I thoroughly was... enjoyed it. Two stars. <laughs> yeah, no. I really enjoyed it. It was very good. Like like you said, Tony, mm-hmm. it, it like, overcomes yeah, It overcomes its shortcomings. It overcomes whatever it's not little that, shortcomings it yeah, has. Yeah. Not only, not. not only is there more positive than negatives, but the positives overcome those shortcomings exactly. they, they make them not that big of a deal yeah so yeah it was really good stuff really good, good stuff, stuff. yes yeah, so definitely watch it if you haven't yeah. already it, like i could tolerate a show with one bad character over a show with half a dislikable cast right yeah right and yeah oh, that's, that's really it go check it out if you go haven't seen it, it go go, watch, go watch it. it again i may watch it again i'm actually re- i'm actually probably going to do it again now, re- now that we're talking yeah. about it like i'm, I'm really excited to watch it again i'm rewatching game of thrones because i don't think i ever really watched them all i think i watched mm. the first three seasons and i never watched more than that really yeah i just well i didn't have each i mean, I, you, I remember HBO, it, is it ruined because you know what happens now hbo go at the time uh-huh um, that was their first streaming service because I didn't have HBO. It was so bad, like I couldn't watch it. Like it would just, I remember like the action would play and then it would just freeze, but oh, the yeah. audio would just keep going and then the it, the picture would catch up and then fr- and it just mm, did that. Okay. Oh, so it's and I, and I remember I literally week. pirated like season hey, three. You whoa, whoa like, like, you are, whoa. Hey, I was paying for HBO Go, so... And ah. they and they couldn't provide the service, so I felt justified in watching it on my own. Mm. Okay, so um, I had to watch it that way. <laughs> sure. but, then, but then I couldn't get the future uh, seasons. And then at that time, I think I got I got I went from a PS4 to a PS4 Pro, and I never reinstalled the Go or became it since it became Max or whatever. So I just yeah. never ended up finishing it. So oh, okay. I'm actually trying to watch it and finish it. So. All right. Do, All does right. it matter that you know what happens or no? Nah. Okay. No, because I thought the ending was fitting. I I mean now. Mm-hmm. There are other shortcomings which I've heard about, and that's fine. I'll get well, that'll there. be a whole other episode. Yeah. Don't we're uh, not even going to worry about that. Invincible yeah. four star. Do watch. Do yes. watch it. Do read if read you can. Do read it if you can. Yeah. It, it has like. I guess if you're gonna be combat. like Adam, skip the first twelve issues. Yeah, skip. Well, no, 11, no, don't ten skip issues. Issues. No, ten issues. Don't yeah. skip anything. <laughs> don't listen to him. It has the um, charm of both Marvel and DC comics and the gore of Mortal Kombat. That's mm. that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like if, if you like so seeing, and now, really. to, and now to go back to Brightburn. No. So you go, you go through, you go through two acts of this movie, right? Two acts of this sort of struggle between him being Superman. Dude, should I just watch it and we'll talk about it in an episode? No, or? no. I think we could do a review here in five <laughs> minutes because okay. it's not worth that much time. Okay. A mini okay. review. Bonus mini yeah. review, Brightburn. Mm-hmm. Um, so you go through two acts of Elizabeth, character. Uh, what's her face? Yeah, yeah Elizabeth. Banks. Elizabeth Banks. Banks, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll have to go to Spider-Man. Um, she was Betty Brand. That's right. Um, so you go through two acts of this sort of T- pull and tug between basically his developing superpowers because he's like Superman and like the home life and all these things like his choices that he needs to make to you know basically become a good person mm-hmm. and then his ship apparently sends out this signal that turns him evil so nothing mattered yep like nothing mattered <laughs> there was no choice if he just he was out, brain control like yeah. mind control it was just mm. like what? If they cut that scene out, it would have been a better movie. Not to mention there were there were just scenes that didn't make any sense. I remember like the dad took him out of the took him out to the woods hunting mm-hmm. oh, so yeah. he could shoot him in the head. But the placement of that scene, he had already like been hit by a car. There was all these things that happened that the dad knew he couldn't be hurt, and then he did that, and you're like, it seems like that scene should have been like way earlier in the movie. Like the dad didn't know because mm-hmm. even his reaction, like he was stunned, it didn't work. And it's like you've already seen him being hit by a car or something with a lawnmower where he sticks his arm in it. Yeah. There's some other, and I don't remember which ones his dad did or didn't see, but it was just like maybe, maybe his dad, like, maybe his he already <laughs> knew the kid was invulnerable. By maybe this point. his dad is criminal, is Superman criminal, stupid, where <laughs> they know, like they know he's impervious they to shoot bullets, him and, and they, they throw still the gun, <laughs> they throw him. the gun, yeah. they keep shoot. Maybe Maybe my bullet will pierce him. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. won't. And then they throw the gun at him and he ducks. It won't, Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say Josh because that's the most common criminal name. Did you know that? No, oh, I did not know Wait, that. Really? Yeah, no, it's not. I'm just kidding. Oh. Yeah. No. I just <laughs> thought of a guy that but I did yeah. not like, and his name is Josh. So, Brightburn, out of four stars, what do you give it? Uh, two. I get it. Two? Or maybe 
I, there's some scenes I enjoyed in Brightburn. It's just that yeah, there's some scenes that are cool, but the movie is just a mess. I mean, if it was if it were if it wasn't for that one scene where it, the ship was telling him that be evil, burn the world, burn yeah. the world, or whatever it is. Like, like I would have thought it would be a better movie entirely. Yeah, I was like, didn't the dad already know that the ship was the only thing that could hurt him when he decided to take him out to the forest and shoot him too? That's what didn't make sense. Yeah, it was just bizarre. I mean, if I want to see, I'd a, give it a half star. James mm. Gunn movie, mm-hmm. Brightburn mm-hmm. half star, and that that was well, he didn't direct that. I, I don't know. think. It, well, I give I think, it I zero it was, stars because I, I didn't watch. But it. it it did feel like it was edited out of order. Like mm. I don't know who edited it, but it was like what? Like things scenes happen and it, they seemed like they were out of sequence. It was just like, huh? yeah. Mm. Okay. Which, yeah, yeah, it was just odd. Super watch super Invincible. Movie. Don't watch Bright. Don't watch yeah. Brightburn. Invincible. Bright. I was gonna Bright. say. <laughs> I was gonna say Brightbart. Brightbart. Uh, but, don't read Brightbart either. Yeah. But don't don't read watch what? Brightburn. <laughs> Brightbart. It's a news. Service. We'll talk about it later. We'll okay. talk well, about I, it. Later. I, we don't need to get into it. Uh, it's an entertainment <laughs> news service. <laughs> Okay. What, news what, what is it? News is. Oh uh, no! Super is a better uh, realistic superhero movie by the one with Rain Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. That movie's awesome. That movie's <laughs> effed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that movie's effed up. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Invincible. Do watch it. Riper and don't watch. Don't watch Riper. Yep, don't watch. <laughs> uh, even though I know people that really like that. Unless movie. you're, unless you're like, curious. Huh? Yeah, there's like, always huh? there's always someone. We well, that's why I watched it. Them. I was curious, and I'm like, it can't be that bad. And I watched it. And I'm like, what just happened? I we, after we did Mortal Kombat, yeah. I I went on uh, I went online, and I noticed a lot of people loved it. Yeah. So yeah. there's uh, people are gonna love something despite how bad it is. So it doesn't yeah. really matter. But yes, do watch it. I mean, I guess it's. You know, in that case, it's about expectations, too. I mean, I was not expecting that much story in my Mortal Kombat. Yeah. <laughs> you got story in my Mortal Kombat. You got Mortal Kombat in, in my, my story. It yeah. wasn't really a solid movie. It, was like, it didn't have enough of a story yeah. to be. That was the problem, I think. Yeah. It didn't have enough of a story to be a good movie, and it had too much story to be Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So but Invincible is perfect solid, combination yeah. of all those things. Like, yeah, Wonderful, like beautiful. Colorful, colorful superheroes. Uh, People getting their head punched off. Yeah, yeah, right. Good stuff and invincible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So clone tanks, uh, <laughs> evil twins, uh, demonic. Uh, the demonic detective was amazing. Yep. I was so sad to see. Oh, him Clancy go. Brown. That's Clancy Brown. Yeah. 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 I was so sad to see him go after only like four episodes or whatever. Yeah. When he got banished back to hell, I was like, he's I the wanna, best character. I want it. Damien Darkblood. Damian I want to see a Damien. I do. Blood. Yes. Uh, I want to see a uh, Damien wanna... Darkblood spinoff. Yeah, I want to see. That a was awesome. Yeah, he was oh. awesome. <laughs> yeah, he was great. Stuff. All mm-hmm. right, so uh, let's get out of here. yeah, let's let's get it going. Anybody have anything? You got anything you want to plug? Anything you want to talk about or recommend? Oh, okay. Recommendation time. Uh, uh, T Public, so. Go Fenris, uh, Godzilla T-shirts, Star Trek T-shirts, licensed Star Trek T-shirts. Um, My boy got the license for that yeah, Star Trek that's stuff. Right. Uh, so. Ponte la Pilas T-shirt. Ponte las Pilas. Uh, a lot of other cool artwork, uh, Cats of Ulthar t-shirts, mm-hmm. um, cool watercolors, Crom wills it, stuff like that. Yeah. So check it out. Check it out. Okay. Um, Gosel Single Point in Netflix Japan, if you have VPN, it now has English subtitles. Oh, I'm all over that. <laughs> Which yeah. brings us to our sponsor, VPN.com. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, I've been playing Resident Evil 8. Oh, that did mm. come out, I right? It. I heard it's pretty amazing. Yeah, actually. I finished it in two days, but my like two days. That's it. Uh, fifteen hours. I oh wow, that's it. That's well, it. Well, okay, so Resident Evil games, that's they're it. they're type of games where I mean, if I'm paying sixty bucks for a game, I need more than fifteen it's, hours it's, worth of game. It's a lot longer than Resident Evil Three. But yeah, Resident Evil oh, Three was geez. disappointingly. I'm short so glad now. I don't play video games as much as I used to. Anymore. Um, Resident Evil, like the the narrative of it of the game itself. It's relatively fast, and you could probably speed run it, and that's kind of the point. Of Resident yeah, games most of the Resident Evil games are like, like that. Yeah, like even in the they're first built game, to speed run. Even yeah. in the first game, you beat the game in three hours, you get an infinite rocket launcher. Yeah, mm. but like just the scenery of it, like just looking around it all, because I, I have a PS5, just looking at the sky, like whoa, those crows are actually moving. <laughs> <laughs> I hear, I heard it does a really good job of uh, embracing different styles of horror oh, too. Oh yeah, like there's some really deep psychological horror at one point, and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Well, the last game was my, like my daughter was couldn't speak enough about it. She was just like, "It's amazing." Like oh, I, I bet it looks great. Yeah. Like the last game, it was like mainly inspired by Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Evil Dead. This one's like mainly inspired by Universal Monsters. If you're yeah. into that, I do. I am. 
and I yeah. will. I know the uh, the last Resident Evil, not not the remakes, but uh, what was it? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, that was just the twist was just so obvious yet not obvious. Was, oh yeah, this was one, pretty amazing. Yeah, it has a pretty twist cool. like that too. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to. I don't really have much to plug. I just found out Castlevania season four is out today, I, so I I'm gonna watch that. that. I stayed yeah. up till. I like, can't tell you if it's good or not. I but. I stayed up till six watching it. It, it was it was good. Okay, That's good, oh, okay. good. I mean, I've I've liked the series so far. So, um, yeah, there's that. That's all I have, really. You're right. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else. Still playing Hitman because that's a game that keeps on giving. Let me tell you, <laughs> that oh. is a game that keeps on giving. Final Fantasy fourteen. Right Hitman now. Uh, World of Assassination trilogy. Final Fantasy fourteen. Right now, the um, online fan event is going on, and you're going to announce a whole bunch of new stuff coming to the game, like male rabbit boys or. Like, what? Oh, wow, okay, male so, rabbit. Like, that's all what? I've been waiting for to play. Male, male rabbit, rabbit boys. Male rabbit boys. Okay, so in the universe Final, for- Final Fantasy XIV, there's like rabbit people. Viera. Viera, yeah. yeah. There's rabbit people, what? but you only see the females of them. It's a Final Fantasy thing you wouldn't understand. Whoa. You only see the females of them, and you're like, I'm like, okay, where's all the males? If like this, uh, if this village is only no, I never asked females. that. <laughs> I never asked that. <laughs> there's like, bunny girls. <laughs> where's the bunny guys? Never asked and, that. And never that, asked. And that. now they're gonna. Well, one of the things they just announced is now there, you could play as a male rabbit person. <laughs> a Viera. Yeah. A male Viera. A male Viera. Why? Yeah, but why? <laughs> but why? I don't get it. <laughs> well, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that's indeed. Um, that's it. That's, that's it. That's it. Let's 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 get go before here. I start taking All some right. of this stuff home. All right. uh, <laughs> All we right. will see you guys next week, hopefully. And uh, right. we're out of here. We're out of here. See ya. Good night. Good night.